Uh, welcome to Tribal T Academy. So, in the previous uh, session, uh, we have discussed uh, what are all the topics uh, we have uh, in uh, uh, statistical and analytics. So, that is the uh, uh, first chapter, second chapter, and third chapter. So, in the today's session, uh, we will discuss, discuss what are all the MCQs question uh, uh, will be there or will be available uh, in the Triple T Academy publication textbook. So, we will uh, 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 briefly explain all the MCQs with respect to Triple uh, T Academy textbook, DCT textbooks. The first chapter that is uh, in statistics and analytics, the first chapter name that is called as uh, statistical data collection and types. So, each chapter leave, the other textbook leave, MCQs is there, all MCQs na now you discuss Martha Hogana. The first, we will start with the first uh, <coughs> question. So, that is called as uh, the data classification, the data classification, which is <coughs> based on the variables. The data classification, which is based on variables such as production, cost, height, weight is considered as. So, right? now data na classify TV, yadr basis martha devili. So, based on the production, cost, height, weight. So, what are all the, these variables? Yella variables in the TV. So, those variables are called as quantitative variables, correct? So, if you classify the data according to quantitative variables, quantitative variables is nothing but the variable which is <coughs> numerically measurable. Yava variable values na, athava yava characteristics na, now number format ali measure maada bahudho, adha na uh, qualitative variables, so qualitative characteristics na karidhi. So, if you <coughs> classify the data according to quali quantitative characteristics, so, quantitative data means the data which can be numerically measurable. Yava data na now number format ali measure maada bahutho. Adana quantitative data athwa quantitative characteristics anta nao karithi. So, illi en maadi dhare. So, quantitative classification ki definition an kutti dhare. What is the definition? The data classification which is based on the variables. Which is based on the variables such as production, number al measure maada bahutho. Cost, height, weight. Therefore, these types of classification is called as quantitative classification. Therefore, option B, quantitative classification is the right answer. So, there are the options wrong. So, this is qualitative Allah. So, you may get confused. If you have any question, you can explain then what is the perfect answer. So, if you have any MCQs, you will definitely get confused. So, that's good. So, directly we come to the answers. Therefore, option B, quantitative classification is the right <coughs> definition for this question. <coughs> Therefore, option B is the right answer. So, next question number two. Uh, the, discrete, <coughs> the discrete variable and continuous variables are two types of what? So, discrete variable and continuous variable are the two different types of <coughs> Two different types of quantitative classification. Yes or no? So quantitative classification is the type of type. The first type is discrete, discrete variable or discrete classification. And another one is continuous classification. Therefore, so discrete variable and continuous variable are the two different types of quantitative classification. Is it clear? Therefore, option D, quantitative classification is the right answer. Clear? So next, so next is question number three, <coughs> the classification of the data on the geographical basis and the geographical location wise data na classify madre, data na group madre, then such type of classifications are called as geographical classification or we can say that spatial classification. So that is the classification on the basis of geographical location wise such type of classification is called as geographical classification. Therefore, option D is the right answer. So next question number four, the set of raw data, raw data means the data which is not in any of the diagram or graph or any table format. So, whatever the data that we are going to collect, so those type of data is called as raw data. So, unformatted data is called as raw data. <clears throat> that is the set of raw data arranged in ascending or descending order. 
ಸೊ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುವಂತಹ ರಾ ಡೇಟಾನ ನೀವು ಅಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ದೋಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಡೋಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಅರೇ ಅರೇ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅರೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಐದರ್ ಅಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಅರೇ ordered array is nothing but arrangement of raw data in ascending order either descending order therefore it is called as ordered array therefore option a ordered array is the right answer <coughs> next <coughs> question number 5 the classification on the basis of time so now data na athwa classification andre uh, characteristics na ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಸಚ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೆಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮಂತ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಹವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರೋನೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಈಸ್ based on the characteristics such as religion education caste then such considered as such this is then this is considered as andre new data in collect madkondidiro so those type of data can be classified according to what according to religion so religion is called as qualitative data the data which cannot be numerically measurable nodi religion now number format al measure madlikke sadhyana illa ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಅವರು ಹಿಂದೂ ನಾವು ಮುಸ್ಲಿಮ್ ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಬಹುದೇ ಹೊರತು ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಜರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಅಂತ ಕರೀಬಹುದು ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ qualitative classification therefore the if the classification of the collected data based on the characteristics such as religion education and caste etc such type of classifications are called as qualitative classification therefore option c qualitative classification is the right answer clear so next <coughs> we move to the next question that is question number 7 So that is the father of statistics the father of statistics who is the father of statistics the father of statistics is ronald a fisher or we can say that r a fisher anta kuda short form alli kuda karibodu therefore <coughs> option a ronald a fisher r a fisher is the father of statistics clear next question <coughs> the latin word from which the term statistics has been derived ನಾವು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ನ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ವರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹೌ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ವರ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಇಟಾಲಿಯನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ has been derived now statistics na italian word alli yen anta karithivu how the statistics can be derived in italian word so that is stata statista so there is option b statista is the right answer now italian word alli
the statistics has been derived now french alli statistics na yen anta karithive how the statistics can be derived in the french word that is statistic q option d statistic q is the right answer clear so next question number 12 uh, who define statistics has the science of counting or science of average so definition of statistics alli thumba bere bere authors kuda helidare research research scholar kuda different definitions na helidare according to statistics definition so here uh, who define statistics has the science of count science of count or science of average anta yaru statistics na define madidare so that is al bowle al bowle is defined as a statistics is a science of counting or science of averages therefore option b al bowle is the right answer clear is yes, next <coughs> question number 13 the totality of units under consideration the total number of units under consideration it is called as population what is the definition of population the total number of students in a class so that is called as population total number of passengers in a bus total number of leaves in a tree total number of uh, patients in an hospitals etc these are all called as population so what do you mean by population the total number of units under consideration or the totality of units under consideration is called as definition of the population therefore option a population is the right answer clear yes next question number 14 that is <coughs> the representative units of population then pit koli representative units anta karibodu part of a population anta karibodu or a subset of a population antanu kuda karibodu so that is called as sample for example <coughs> there are 100 students are there in a class these hundreds students together we can call it as population so if you take only 10 student is called as sample so a part of a uh, population a subset of a population or representative units of a population that is called as sample is it now sample anta kariti okay there are 100 students are there in a class these 100 students are called as together we can call it as population out of 100 students we are taking only 10 students those 10 students are called as sample okay that is the representative units or a part of a population or subset of a population is called as sample therefore option a sample is the right answer clear so next corona example in question number 15 a quantitative characteristics which varies from unit to unit so quantitative characteristics so what are all the quantitative characteristics quantitative characteristics means the characteristics which can be numerically measurable so yava characteristics na now number format alli measure maadabodu adana quantitative characteristics anta now kariti so a quantitative characteristics yen aagta ide unit ke unit ke change aagta ide for example total number of students in a class <coughs> each and every student in a class is called as unit okay for example quantitative characteristics if you take uh, height is a quantitative characteristics yes or no so height of first student is different say for example height of first student is equal to 160 centimeter height of second student is is 170 centimeter height of third student is equal to 165 centimeter these these are called as what these are called as height no so these quantitative characteristics changes from each and every unit from each and every student therefore such type of uh, classification is called as variable what do you mean by variable variable is nothing but a quantitative characteristic is very important a quantitative characteristics which varies from which changes from one unit to another unit such type of data are called as variables therefore option c variable is the right answer clear yes next class to be continued download ttt live learn app to watch more videos